Assalamualaikum. A quick review of Inaya suit. I'm just going to do a quick explanation of what it is that I've done. A couple of mistakes and a couple of uh, advice that I would like to give on making something like this. It's a very simple suit. It was from the leftover pieces. It's like a just like an apron type of a jacket. Uh, which I've laced on the edges and then I've trimmed off at the bottom. Um, a little bit of a mistake that I made, well two mistakes that I made. Okay, one I lined this uh, with a thin fabric and I went against my own rule and my own rule was that whenever you sew, try not to sew the lining at the bottom and if you do then you will end up having like a uh, when the fabrics fall they do not fall evenly and what you end up getting is like a bulging fabric so I went against my own uh, rule and I actually tied the two fabrics in together what ended up happening was one of the fabric was on the back it was fine mm, on the back basically it's like this and it's hanging fine but on the front uh, the inner fabric pulled up and the top fabric sort of like gathered here so generally what I would advise on something like this is if you're lining the fabric finish about a half an inch prior to attaching the border and attach the border only on the main uh, outer line not on the not on the lining you can either leave the lining a little bit below or you can leave the lining a little bit above but either way don't try not to trap the lining and the fabric both in one because you will end up having a problem and sometimes fixing that problem can be a bit of a pain okay the other problem uh, so how did I resolve it what I did was I cut into it and then I separated it from the front even though it's trapped at the sides I didn't want to unpick it it was too much work and I simply haven't got the time to sort of go into it the other problem that a slight bit of a problem that mm, I, I had and uh, this was a mistake that I made on the shoulders what I should have done was taken it in so I should have cut this uh, to the shape of the shoulder which I didn't and I left it straight and what ended up happening was the shoulders were slightly overhanging so I I really couldn't be bothered on picking it and so what I've done is I've taken a slight bit of like I've pinched it and taken it up a little bit but then the problem that you have with that is sometimes you can have like bulging on the sides uh, especially as I've lined it with this um, crinkly fabric and the crinkly fabric does tend to gather you know and that's probably another mistake I try to find a lining which is of a suitable equal weight apart from that Considering the fact that it's all pieces and stuff and you know the result is uh, absolutely beautiful um, What I did with the hemline was I slightly slightly curved it up and to curve it up with lace uh, What you have to do is you have to sew it with very easy hand so you have to slide put you know um, How can I explain there is a video that I've done where I've done you know uh, sort of like contouring with lace and that's basically what you have to do you have to do it with an easy hand so that you know the top fabric is slightly slightly gathered uh, but when you press it it sort of presses into place and it's not noticeable but that's something that will give the sort of rounded shape at the bottom um, I did run short on fabric and I had to add a piece here and then the button um, a piece I actually ended up on a side because obviously when you're managing trying to do something with such a less fabric you can end up having problems like that uh, there's a video on how to make this jewelry I've used a domestic machine and uh, over uh, sort of zigzagged this and trapped the fabric inside and it gives an absolutely magnificent magnificent result so you can see and I has uh, filmed that for me and uh, the camera was a bit shaky so you're gonna have to put up with that but uh, you can see close up of how we went about making that and then to finish that off what I did was I just used the lace and I trapped the cord inside uh, the lace parts and got this bell like um, tassels which gives just another bit of nice look to the garment okay so that's the jacket I kept it separate because 
you know with children comfort is the most important thing like when we make graras shiraras and uh, you know lungi salwars and dhoti salwars and stuff you know children aren't comfortable in them so try to stick uh, to a basic simple design this is just a straightforward kurti mm, i've used the blechi fabric i made sleeves out of this i've not put any lace or anything because i wanted again to keep it comfortable uh, sort of backed it with linen um added the slightly brighter color for the lining so that it gives it a little bit of a shine because otherwise this color for children is a little bit of a dull color and you'll see her comments in one of the other videos i mean she put her fingers down and she said mm, i don't like this i don't like the color so children are very very picky straightforward trouser just a simple straightforward trouser and when you sew for children try to make you know because the crutch is longer at the back and shorter at the front try to make uh, waistlines like this for them so that they know which is the back and which is the front otherwise children end up wearing them the wrong side and uh, you know make it noticeable so that it's easy for them to you know when they're dressing themselves up it's easy for them to recognize which is the front and which is the back i've left a slight bit of like a um, turned up um, on the pants open slit pants and uh, basically that's about it anyway that's uh, just uh, i'm hoping that she's gone out to the park now when she comes back she sat around near me to uh, see the completion of this so as soon as she comes back I'm gonna get her to try this on and if it's this skill light we'll give you a uh, bit of a modeling uh, after a long while so this is one of the dresses that you know it's been quite a while since I've not uh, sewn for her so it's one that is like a comeback for Inaya and I'm actually quite pleased with the result so now I've got the mums left in the linen and uh, you can see part of the video uh, I did the cutting of uh, the mom's suit because I wanted to make sure that I don't waste away the material and uh, you know we can use uh, get the adults first and then any leftovers and we had alhamdulillah plenty left so we managed to make this along with it so alhamdulillah join me again and inshallah I'll see you again soon